Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Um, I just want a quick video to show you the best way of stripping wood chip because it is a very hard, tough job to do. Um, and as you can see, this is an old building, and you can see, like, if you put steam on this, this wall would have no chance because it actually, it actually moves. Um, so you'd oversaturate the wall, and it's a plasterer's job. But with this, all I've done is you, oh, you, you hack it off dry. Okay, make sure you hack it off dry. Um, and this is the best tool to get. It's a Tajima. And what it is, you put off, you put in snap off blades. I mean, this one's just cracked now, but I mean, I've, I've used this almost, look, all the way around there. And I've still got wood chip here to strip. But yeah, hack it off dry. So you're just hacking it off, but then you get this sort of backing. And the best thing to do is sweep up, clean up. Get this backing off, but you soak it. Bit of um, very liquid in some hot water, warm water. Brush it on, and then just use a normal blade to get that off. And then it will kind of leave you with the walls um, and then the holes to fill, which I would use Easy Fill by Jit Rock. Couple of skims of Easy Fill in the holes. Rub the walls down, PVA, and then line the walls, and then away you go. That's what I'm doing right in here. Um, I already did, this is a nursing home by the way, so I already did the ensuite in there as a little sample for them because that was all wood chip. So it just looks so much better with plain walls. Um, so yeah, as I say, this is the only, if I didn't have this tool, it wouldn't be worth even coming in to work. Um, so I've got the short handle one and the long handle one as well. So um, yeah, you can get them off Amazon because they're a Japanese tool. Um, other blades I don't really get on with. I don't, you know, they're not as thin as, as these ones. So, yeah, um, hope that helps.